Hi, my name is Marnie Fritz. I work at the Thomas Merton Center and I'm an active member of Stop Sexual Assault in the Military, SAM, and had the opportunity to meet with Senator Toomey's staff person today to talk about this issue with him. Right now, I'm going to read a story, a statement from an anonymous survivor of military sexual assault. And I just want a, a, a quick trigger warning. There are instances of rape and sexual assault in this story. Sexual assaults in the military don't stay in the military. They spill over into civilian life. I am proof of this, and there are many thousands more. In 2010, I was sexually assaulted by a U.S. Marine I was dating. Over the last six years, I have fought to get justice for my sexual assault, yet been ignored by the U.S. military and the U.S. government, including Senator Pat Toomey. My sexual assault is the perfect example of how a commander not only overlooks rape, but also how NCIS and the judge advocate mishandle and ignore evidence. I reported my assault to the perpetrator, Sergeant Major. After speaking to me on the phone for over an hour, the Sergeant Major insisted I email him my account of what happened because he had been working out during our conversation. At this point, according to military law, the Naval Criminal Investigation Services, NCIS, should have been contacted to launch an investigation. This did not happen, and the assailant went unpunished. My congressman's office contacted the Pentagon, and still, nothing was done. Receiving no help from the Marines commanding officer or the Pentagon, I had to contact NCIS myself. They launched their own investigation, but told me that if I went to the police, they would put a stop to it. In fact, my case was closed by a judge advocate before the NCIS investigation concluded. I had my local sheriff's office and DA's office look at my evidence. However, they have no jurisdiction, as the assault didn't happen in Pennsylvania. Their opinion is that there is more than enough evidence to convict this Marine. Pat Toomey was running for Senate in 2010 when I was looking for help. I contacted the offices of both Toomey's and his opponent, Joe Sestak, explaining my case and the broader problem with military sexual assault. Toomey's camp told me they would definitely help me and look into this issue if he were elected. My friends and I contacted his office several times. We were ignored, then told he did not want to get involved. Through this battle, I have met both civilian and military victims of sexual assault. Our experiences are similar in that we were and continue to be dismissed regardless of the evidence we have and the laws that are in place to protect us. Military laws prohibiting sexual assault exist. However, they, like the victims, are being ignored. It's been six years since the assault. The rapist and his command were never punished in any way. He was allowed to try out for special operations, which would have been impossible for him to do if, he was, if there was even a minuscule note in his file about what he did to me. In fact, the assaulter was promoted almost immediately after I reported the attack. Today, he is free, benefiting from the GI Bill and being called a hero. I watched as President Obama and Senators Casey and Toomey chastised Joe Paterno for the Penn State assaults and how the country and media found what happened at Penn State appalling. Somehow the military sexual assaults, which also victimized many children, are overlooked. Senator Pat Toomey, you are my Joe Paterno. Every day I live with the fact that I will never get justice for the crimes committed against me, that I am one of millions of victims of U.S. military sexual assault and there, there will be millions more until the U.S. government stops ignoring these devastating sexual crimes and their survivors. And every day, I vow to be part of the fight to get justice for those wronged by this broken system. And I want to lead everybody into chant really quickly. Unchained victims from the chain of command. Unchained victims from the chain of command. Say what? Unchained victims from the chain of command. Say what? Unchained victims from the chain of command. Say what? Unchained victims from the chain.